Hi everyone. I'm just uh, having a walk of the fence. Uh, just checking for any gaps in it. Seeing what the weed growth's like. And uh, to be honest, the weed growth's growing up a little bit, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so in the next couple of days, we're gonna give this a spray, help knock it back for a couple of months. Um, all I'm looking for is basically anywhere where things have either tried to push their way out, like squirrels, that type of thing, or pheasants, they, they make a few holes in the netting, uh, the chicken wire netting. So, or anything has tried to force its way in. So monk jack, badgers, foxes, otters, potentially. Um, around this area that I'm at at the moment, it's quite away from any water course. So it's unlikely that it'd be otters around here. It is more than likely it'll be monk jack or badgers that are pushing their way through the fence. So looking for any holes, um, got a little tool here with me. If there's any sort of bramble growth coming through the fence, try and just hack that back a little bit. Um, and then we'll also give that a bit of a spray as well. So we try and keep a bit of a clear track either side of the fence. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll show you that now. So this is the fence line. As you can see, there's a bit of weed growth coming up and some of the weeds are starting to grow in and on the fence line here. So we'll give it a spray either side. Um, overall, it's looking pretty good. Um, so it's not too bad. Yeah, fairly happy with how that looks. So there's a long old bit of fence, so it takes a little while to go around and do a thorough job. But uh, it's worth doing because a little hole can turn into a very big hole very quickly. So. so this bit here, this bit's the weed growth is actually very good actually, it's not too bad. But as you can see on the inside here, it's starting to creep over onto the fence. And this tool, this is why I carry this tool. See this bit of bramble here, if we leave things like this, they just end up right out into the field. So all I do is just hack it off there and then pull it out. That'll die off. Then it's clear. So that's why, uh, that's why this tool's quite handy for this job. Whilst I wander around, um, just to explain what's been going on this month. So we're still trying to fill the the, the membership. We've had a lot of people um, on the waiting list want to defer and um, take, a, take a place next year. So um, if there's enough that come free. So actually we've used up all the names on the waiting list. So we are shortly gonna be advertising. I think we need about five more members um, to fill the membership. Um, so if you're interested in joining, um, there's a chance you can get on quickly because the people on the list have all been contacted. They don't want to join this year. So um, we can take on a few new members. So if you want to, to join or are interested, um, I'm doing several viewings in the next sort of month. So they're on Wednesday nights. Um, there's one on Saturday morning coming up. So if you're interested, contact the office. Um, they'll give you all the details. We're looking for about four or five, so it will be first come, first serve. Um, so yeah, if, you, if you're keen on a ticket, now's your chance. So we've had about 30 people on the waiting list want to defer for next year. Maybe they've joined another syndicate or, you know, for whatever reasons, don't want to join this year. So um, yeah, now's your chance. Um, also this month, um, we've been shut again for 10 days. Another group of fish decided to start spawning. So uh, we had that real heat wave a couple of weeks ago. Um, and uh, yeah, it set them off spawning again. So I think, fingers crossed, that is all the fish done now with spawning. Um, there might be the odd tiny little group, but uh, that's the thing when you've got a big mixture of different sort of strains of fish. They all want to spawn at different times, so you can end up shutting two, three, four times a year, um, which is annoying, but it's important that we do for the health of the fish. So, yeah, it's been relatively tricky fishing. Um, a lot of smaller fish coming out, so it's quite apparent a lot of the fish that were in the Wong, they have got into the res. Um, but I'm fairly confident within the next couple of years they'll be growing 
pretty quickly so I'm not going to bother moving them across or back into the Wong just to then move them back into the res. Um, they will they will encourage the bigger fish to feed as well. Um, it's just when they turn up on your spots they're probably in a big shoal and you end up getting mullered and catching a few of them. So uh, that's what's been happening. We've done a little bit of mowing, a little bit of hedge cutting down the walkways. But uh, other than that, not a massive amount. Um, July will be getting ready for um, our dam inspections. So we'll hopefully get the dam wall cut and the weir bank cut ready for the dam inspections, check the valves, make sure they're working okay. Um, and then in August, I think we've got some swim building planned or some making safe of a lot of the swims. A lot of the platforms are looking pretty tired, so we're uh, we're going to have a bit of a uh, bit of time trying to just secure them up, make the steps a bit better, that type of thing. But until next time, cheers, guys.